Transform! Hey everybody, Massman and 84 and welcome to stream number 52, and welcome to a brand new stream LP. And welcome to Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. And this is a M-rated game, just an FYI for all the folks watching at home. A spin-off game based around the playable characters of Persona 3 and Persona 4. And this has been a franchise I've been wanting to play for the longest time in the intro of playing again. I should probably press A. <laughs> or any button. So yes, this will be my very first Persona game. And this will be mostly blind. Um, I've seen a few cutscenes on YouTube before, like super short ones, and uh, I've been playing on my own time, just just a little bit to get used of um, get used to this RPG. And it was on the pers blah, blah, blah. it's been on the Persona Three side, so yeah. Um, I would ask that the people watching at home live or during the archive not to spoil anything from this game because it's a blind run. I kind of want to experience everything, and I did it again, man! Jeez. Okay. Now let's go and config. There we go, that way we won't get interrupted. So yeah, I asked uh, for nobody to spoil anything, but I don't mind getting tips and tricks to help me out along the way. And, um... Like I said earlier, it's based around the characters of Persona 3 and 4, so I'd also ask um, not to talk about the late game from those two games as well, because um, maybe not everyone has played it, and I don't think people deserve to be spoiled from those games, so yeah. Anywho, I did um, check all these options before I started. Hopefully these will be good. If not, I'll just change as we, as we go on. So we're going to go in a new game. Whose story would you like to experience? Welcome to the world of Persona Q. It's up to you to choose the protagonist of this story. Your choice of protagonist will affect how the story develops. The Persona 3 protagonist, a second year student at Gekogon High School in the Leader of Seas, he's investigating Tartarus to save mankind from the Apathy Syndrome. And the Persona 4 protagonist, the second year student at Yasogami High School, and the leader of the investigation team, working to solve the murders in the rural, rural town of Yashoniba. Yashoniba. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right, because um, a lot of these towns and names and all these people are based around Japanese. But like on the stream title, we will 
take on the Persona 4 side. Because I kind of prefer these characters more. Then again, I like all of these characters. The characters are really awesome in this game. Or just in general. So we can enter the protagonist's name. So his canon name is uh, Yu Narukami. But um, we can't fit his last name in. So I'm just going to put... Put you, because his first name's really, really short. And I'm just gonna put P4. <laughs> and anytime, like in game, uh, the other characters are referenced P4, I'm just gonna call him by his last name. And yes! Next, select game's difficulty. Uh, I'm gonna play on easy mode. Relax and enjoy the story. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of cutscenes um, earlier on. So I don't know how much gameplay we'll be playing, but uh, yeah, sit back and relax. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It seems you have quite a unique fate, after all. The cards are whispering to me. They say that a curious incident is awaiting you. Perhaps you have a premonition of it already. Do you know who your threads of destiny will intertwine with? Margaret's words bring back memories of a certain person's words. Wow. wow. You're, You're strong. strong. Nani? Could this be the fate about Margaret is talking about? Could this be the fate that Margaret is talking about? If that's the case, the person's name is... Enter his name, and that is the, uh, the protagonist from Persona 3. And his canon name is Makoto Yuki. Part of me wants to call him Minato, or Minato, if that's how you pronounce it, because that's, that's, what, that's what his name was, I believe, during the manga. Because we can't have two Makotos, because it's Persona 5. Anyway, um, I'm just going to call him Makoto. And I know his last name can fit, because it's just Yuki. I'm just going to put, like, Persona 3, I guess. Hmm. Actually, no, we're gonna put Yuki. Because his, his name could fix, so why not? Makoto Yuki. And yes! I see. As I thought, you sense something as well. I look forward to the story that the strands of fate will weave. Well then, until we meet again. October 30th, 2011, the morning of the final day of the Yasogami High's Culture Festival. At the Dojima house where you is staying. There! All done! It's Nanako! Nanako Dojima, Yu's younger cousin in the first grade. She does the housework after her mother died. The table is set and a breakfast Nanako prepared is already waiting for you. My teacher said you need to eat well in the morning. I just know how to cook eggs, so I need sunny side up eggs and a rolled omelet. Huh? The rolled omelet turned black. Nani. Sub meta Ridley, how's it going? <laughs> Let's be nice, that's good even if it's burnt. No! The burnt parts are bad for you! Dad says he likes it burned, too, but it's still bad to eat. Well, thanks for the food. Let's dig in. The eggs are yummy. <laughs> chickens are amazing. I agree. Chickens are, in fact, really amazing. Huh? Someone's here. Yeah. 
Yo. Kanji Tatsumi, a first year underclassman of Yu. He can be very brave, but also very impulsive. It's Kanji! <laughs> Good morning. Kanji gave, came to visit this morning. Sorry to show up this early in the morning, man. The old hag wouldn't shut up about me taking this to you. <laughs> have you ever played Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I have played Breath of the Wild. It's fun. I wouldn't mind, like, streaming it someday. I thought it'd be a pain to lug all around school, so uh, I, I brought it now. Uh, you, you don't want it, huh? Kanji looks a little embarrassed as he produces a large bento box. Huh? Uh, I don't know if you'd li like it, Nanako-chan. <laughs> Aw, he's blushing. Kanji spreads the food he brought out on the table. Chu kuvani konobumaki, some simmered dishes and more simmered, simmered dishes. <laughs> Sorry, it's all brown and stuff. <laughs> it's great! Your mom is a really good cook! You think so? Cool. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Actually, I, I cooked part of that. It's uh that that simmered one. You can cook. You can make knit dolls too. <laughs> you really can do anything. When I get bigger, I want to be like you, Mr. Um, Kanji. Hmm, what should we say? I'll cheer you on. <laughs> what are you cheering her on for? Seriously, what are you gonna do if Nanako chan does turn out like me? <laughs> Donnie? You hear something that sounds like the ringing of bells. Looks as though Nanako didn't hear the sound. Whoa, look at the time. Uh, guess we'll have to use my secret passage. What are you talking about? There's a hole in the school fence. The shortcut to the classrooms lets you avoid the teachers. Interesting. Kanji, you're a delinquent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> That's so cool. Cool? Uh, not really. Whoa, looking cool, Kanji. I mean, Senpai, come on, stop glaring at me! <laughs> A little past two in the afternoon. The beauty pageant and other events have ended, and the culture festival is coming to a close. Yeah, I like the background music. Persona has a pretty fantastic soundtrack overall. The classes display the group date cafe. That rhymed, but Poeta didn't even know it. And there are no customers. Today's the last day of the culture festival, but there's no one here at all. Yosuke! Yosuke Hanamura. Youth classmate and a good friend. His father manages a Juness store. I hear all the other classes are in full swing. Chie Satanaka. Youth classmate and a girl who loves both kung fu and meat. Interested in this group date. I wonder why it's not catching on. Yukiko Amagi, youth classmate and the only child of the owner of the long standing Amagi Inn. Man, I'm glad it isn't. There's nowhere else to rest. I like it. No one's taking pictures of me or making awkward small talk. Great plan, Yosuke Senpai. Risei Kuikawa, a first year student with nationwide celebrity as an idol. Though she is currently on leave. If that was my plan, then I would have suggested a quiet zone to begin with. There's one last event to finish off this festival later today, right? I wonder what it's gonna be about. I heard there'll be a karaoke booth with no sign-ups needed. Karaoke? Wouldn't it draw too large a crowd if you sang Risei song? Naoto Shirogane, a first-year student and youth underclassman, a brilliant detective who aids police. I want it! It'll be my second grand victory after the cross-dressing pageant! <laughs> Teddy, a strange creature from the world inside a TV, is currently living in Yosuke's closet. When I 
grow up, I'm gonna be a singing, dancing magician! Do you wanna see my magic trick, huh? How about it? Well, if you insist... A one, a two, and a three! Ta-da! My transformation into a gorgeous prince is complete. All you did was take off your costume. So? What did you think, Sensei? Were you shocked and amazed? Oh, I was surprised. <laughs> no, oh, uh, yeah. Aw, oh, come on. Where's the excitement, Sensei? Then again, that makes you even more of a city boy. What is that supposed to mean? That's found. I wonder if um, the other characters can hear it. Oh, what was never mind. I guess they can. <laughs> it sounded like bells. Hmm. It was different than our usual school bell, though, huh? Oh! What is it? I heard that the Kinjiro Ninamiya statue runs around the schoolyard in the middle of the night. Uh. What does that have to do with anything? Besides, we don't have one of those statues here. It's a common story as one of the school's seven horrors. Does this school have its own urban legends? Like I said, the statue runs around the... We don't have one! Oh, but the second one's impressive too. The eyes of the Mozart bust in the music room. Oh. All they do is glow? Well, all the statue does is run. Again, we have no statue. The third one is, if you write your wish in the log book at the nurse's office, it'll come true. Isn't that just a superstition? Yukiko continues telling her story. Okay, but here's the main point I wanted to get to. So you did have a point. Can you guess the sixth one? Whoever hears the bell of the clock tower to the end. Uh, we don't have a clock tower either. Although, as I recall, supposedly there was one here once. I heard it from the principal before. You know, I think you're right. But I'm pretty sure that was before we were in grade school. So, what happens when you hear the bells to the end? You die. <laughs> Dude, that's such a cliché. Breathe your last? Rephrasing it doesn't make it better. Okay, enough about that story. That bell probably means the post festival event starting. Let's go. Chie quickly leaves the classroom. Huh? Chie left. Ah, <sighs> can't believe anyone our age still gets creeped out by the seven horror stuff. Uh, are you scared? Hmm? No, not at all. In the hallways of Yasugami High, Margaret, a resident of the Velvet Room, is standing here in the bustling hall. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, you. Why are you here? This isn't the Velvet Room. I've been allowed to have a fortune-telling booth here. It's just a way to pass the time. H hey, Senpai, who's this beautiful lady? You never told me about her. I can't let this pass. You explain that she's a resident of the Velvet Room, where your Persona fusions are performed. Oh, you mean that place you've mentioned before? But didn't you say the owner had a long nose? Does it... does it stretch? It doesn't stretch, and he was not referring to myself. I'd be curious to know what you told your friends about us. Oh, sorry, um, we're... There's no need for introductions. I know about all of you. That aside, did you hear that sound earlier? What sound? Oh, right. We thought the post-festival thing was starting. I see. So you did hear it. That sound did not come from reality. I heard it from my fortune-telling booth, after all. From your booth? Though it has no master, 
The fortune telling room is a simplified velvet room. The velvet room is inseparable from a guest's fate. Absolutely nothing meaningless happens there. So then, if a sound was heard there, it was by necessity? Maybe you just dropped a bell or something? Indeed, something is happening. Or rather, something is about to begin. She ignored me. Well, I guess all we can do is check out this fortune-telling booth. This velvet room's where they've been helping you out all this time, right? You raise an interesting point. If you all heard the sound, then it must be related to all of you. Will you please follow me? It's this way. Margaret began leading the way. <laughs> Someone died. Like to fight with fate. Her death was What's shot for us. Story? <laughs> I'd probably say the same thing. Well, if you've heard the six leading up to it, supposedly something will appear. What? That sounds like the hundred stories. Maze of life. What? Nani? What's wrong? Oh, uh, there was a spider crawling by my feet and... Huh? It's gone. A spider? Must have been my imagination. Come on, let's go. Is that foreshadowing? <laughs> Why does Yukiko look extra death in this game? <laughs> I don't know. The hallway in front of the fortune telling booth. It's through here. Please be careful. As I feared, it is somewhat... Unstable. Unstable? Time. It's unstable. Um, let's go in, Senpai. You step into the darkness within the fortune telling booth. Whoa, it's a special stage. Seems rather large for just a booth. Talk about a wide open space. Hmm. What is the meaning of this? And what are these doors? I like how everybody's freaked out and then, like, you just standing there, like, whatever, man. <laughs> the last time you entered in a fortune teller place, you got called a man whore. <laughs> and four locks? What could these be? Was that only in the Persona 4 the animation, or was that in the game too? <laughs> they weren't originally here? No. It was a small room, easily filled by a desk and a chair. There wasn't space for doors such as these, naturally. Could the room have changed because I brought you all here? What do you mean? Stop saying weird things! Can we leave? I say we get out of here for now, hmm? Chie heads for the exit. Duh. Chie's afraid. Yeah, the Persona 4 the animation is really good. I'm in the middle of watching that, actually. <laughs> the sound of the Renan Bell is clearer than before. We may have been summoned. By who? I'd like to investigate this for a while. If you find something, please call for me. Huh? You can hear Chie from outside. We should head out too, Senpai. You decide to check what's... You decide to check what's outside. The dungeons here are large. <laughs> oh boy. Teddy's just all excited. I like how they just brought in Teddy, like inside their school. <laughs> like in the costume and everything. What is this place? It looks like Yasugami High School, but something doesn't feel right. Huh. Are things picking up one last time before the post-festival event? Oh, right! There was somewhere I wanted to go! Yosuke, please accompany this pitiful bear! Once the post-festival event starts, all the displays will wrap up. So go check them out now if you want to see. Fine. 
Where do you want to go? The cosplay cafe! Like hell. <laughs> it's okay. I just need your wallet to accompany me. Dang, you just got pickpocketed. Teddy grabs Yosuke's wallet and runs off of light and speed. Dude, if I'm the one paying, then I'll check out the cosplays too. Get back here! Yosuke takes off after Teddy. The cosplay cafe is the one on the third floor, right? Wasn't that where the boys are dressing up as girls? Nani. Please, no more cross-dressing talk. No, please, no gender benders, please. No. Be more confident. No. Kun, you looked great. It was enough to keep me in a good mood for a while. Huh? You didn't win the pageant, but you really livened up the show. I'm sure everyone will never forget it. <sighs> wow. She poured salt right into those wounds. That's crazy. Why don't we go too? I bet Teddy's getting them riled up anyway, so maybe we better check on them. Yeah, let's go. Kanji's pretty girl. Everyone decides to follow Teddy and Yosuke. Doesn't something seem off? You're right. The atmosphere here seems... <sighs> In any case, let's go. We should try not to get separate... Huh? Nani. Hey, look, outside the window. You look outside the window and you see it. What do we see? A clock tower. There's a clock tower in the middle of the Yasogami schoolyard. What's going on here? Anyway, let's head to where the others went. We can investigate it later. Let's go see where Teddy and the others are for now. Alrighty, let us save. So yeah, like I said, I did play a bit on the Persona 3 side to get the hang of things. So that's six hours, I probably fell asleep at one point while I was playing. <laughs> File one will be a stream save. Now let us go back. Uh, I guess we can only go to the cosplay cafe. Third floor, in front of the cosplay cafe, Mon Amour. Nani. However, the sign in the front reads, You in Wonderland? What gives? There's no cosplay cafe here. Were we bamboozled? Huh? Was I only dreaming? I remember it saying cosplay cafe in the pamphlet, though. Maybe there was a last minute change. Why don't we try going inside? Huh? You're into this stuff? Come on, she's a detective. I bet she'd masqueraded as others before cosplay was a thing. Um, that's... Well, I'll let it pass without comment. More importantly, Senpai, may I ask you to open this door on my queue? <laughs> Alright. I'm glad you catch on quickly. Well then, here goes. Huh? Naruto ready for gun that she uses to fight shadows. Hey, you can't pull out inside a class. Hey, pulling out your weapon here. Three, two, one, go. Teria. <laughs> no way, I'm scared. We ain't afraid. We're the main character. We have plot armor. Inside the cosplay cafe, Mon Amour. Rather, where the cafe should have been. What is this place? Is this display based on a children's story? It must have been a lot of work. Risei-san, please search this area with your persona. Whoa, wait a sec! We're at school! I can't summon it here! We're not in the TV world. Why are you making me call out for no reason? This is so awkward. Humor me. <laughs> she was cosplaying Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> but don't blame me if this gets weird, okay? Per Persona! I just got here, I'm already lost health. <laughs> I knew it. Are we inside the TV? But yeah, things are really confusing right one. now. And I don't see any fog here. Hold on. I'm sensing shadows up ahead. One, two, tons of them. Some really strong ones, too. Ah, 
Ah, come on. If there were shadows around, there's no way I wouldn't sniff them out. See? There's... Tons of them? The shadows are actually here! Whoa! There really are shadows here? Oh, what should we do? I'll protect you, Chie. What? <laughs> there you go again! Saying things like that! <laughs> I know. Since we can't leave them be, why don't we poke our noses in there? Okay, I'll back you guys up from here then. Huh? Then I'm staying behind too. <laughs> Are you volunteering for bodyguard duty? That's so sweet of you, Kanji. Shut up. I don't want to hear any complaints for shadow attacks. I'm just kidding. Well then, Senpai, I'll wait out here with Kanji. Sorry, All right. but I'm going to investigate elsewhere. There's something else that's caught my attention. Huh? Oh, sure. I'll go with Naoto then. You guys got nothing to worry about with my partner there. Look after Naoto for me. I'll be fine. You be careful too. Okay, let's meet back where we just came in from. Don't let your guard down. This really the Yasugami High School that you attend? Or could it be... All I can do now is investigate this area. Press the X button to open the menu screen. Here you can use item skills and view your party status. Alright, so, um, I guess we can give a bit of context. Oh, how does one persona? Okay, um, I'm playing the Persona 4 side, so in a nutshell, this probably won't explain too much, or you may not 100% understand. But in Persona 4, Basically, there is a real, the real world and the quote-unquote shadow world. And in Persona 4, in order to get to the shadow world, um, you must travel through a television. And in television, that's where you fight monsters known as shadows. So normally, when um, the investigation team, which is Persona 4's team name, they Over here. they go inside the TV to oh, fight hey. shadows. And basically the plot of their game is that there's um there's a killer running loose in their in their town and they must figure out who it is. And they believe they also have the power of personas too, so only they are able to solve that mystery, but um yeah, that's basically in a nutshell, I won't go into too much details or spoilers or all that jazz. Oh that's right, can you hold on to this Yukon? Yukon Medicine! Margaret said we should use these if we got hurt. Ooh, Ooh Miss Margaret is so nice. You should remember to have these if someone gets hurt. I haven't checked my party yet. Um, really, four people? Okay. Um, it's my first time playing on the Persona Four side, so um, it's gonna take me a while. Wait, no, I don't want to go back to the main menu. Let me check everybody's skills. Um. Vio, I believe that's Lightning, Sleeper Punch, Bufu, Dio. Alright, um, where do I go? I have no idea where I'm going. Did we go through here already? Nani. Whoa, Shadows! Look who's showing up, but I know how to fight Shadows. Hit them with something they're weak against. If you strike their weakness, find them up. Barrack a sweat. Barrack a sweat. <laughs> we don't know what elements they're weak against, though. Okay, we'll figure it out as we go along. Let's do this. We'll be fine if we'll figure out what their weaknesses are if we keep attacking them with different stuff. When fighting shadows, it is important to attack using elements they are weak against. Attacking with an element with an enemy is weak against will put the attacker in a boosted state. A boosted character has two advantages, acts first in the first in the next turn, and their skills skill cost are up to zero. Wow, I cannot speak today. Do you even English? Weaknesses will differ dependent on the enemy. Try using different attacks on them to find their weakness. Three shadows, and I'm missing data. 
Okay, so, um, spe special thanks to Lad for, um, <laughs> helping me understand this game a bit more, so I'll try to explain what I know. So, I believe there are different types of elements of attacks, physical and magic. On the bottom screen, can I tap it? I guess I can't tap it. There's a cut attack, there is a bash attack, stab attack, fire, ice, light, and wind, light, and... I don't know what the last one is, I forgot. <laughs> so, all enemies in this game, they have weaknesses. But, um, we'll need to figure out those weaknesses so the next time we fight them in the future, we'll, we'll know what they're weak against. They'll make fights a lot easier. So, uh, I'm gonna just spam magic attacks and see what works. Let's go lightning the music on the back. Light best attack. We'll just use that on you. And Teddy, you can attack this guy right here. Yukiko, I guess you can attack with a range cut attack. Yeah, this, this sounds great. So what also, um, Lat told me was that, um... There's a front row and there's a back row. So basically the people in the front row, they're most likely to get attacked more. Because everybody can reach the front row. The people in the back row, they will get attacked less. However, they will have limited range. They can only attack people from the front on the opposing side. <laughs> yeah, it's really confusing and still a bit confusing for me too, but um, we'll figure it out as we go along. Leave it to me to back you up. Let me know whenever you want me to check out an enemy. You can see information about enemy shadows by pressing the L button to analyze them. That one's weak against electricity. Okay, so as you can see in the bottom screen, um, Lion Hablery. It says it's weak against electricity because we tried an electric attack against it and it worked. And if there's a question mark on it, it means that we don't know if it's weak against it or not. And if there's a hyphen, aka a um, horizontal bar, it means it's just neutral damage. So in this game, especially earlier on, I heard you can't get much SP. So basically, um, make sure you're just attacking your weaknesses, because after, when you're in a boost state, you don't have to waste any SP, which is lovely. I'm just gonna go for a regular attack against everybody else. I mean, this battle mechanic comes from Etrian Odyssey. Yeah, that's what I heard too, so, yeah. If you played Etrian Odyssey, maybe you'll understand how this, how this all works. Yeah, buddy. And if you get attacked when you're in a boosted state, uh, you can't... You lose that boost state. Oh, it's, it's nice. I believe that was a bash attack. Yeah. So, um, she has regular attack because she's like, she likes Kung Fu. Uh, she kicks people and that's a bash attack. So, um, regular attacks won't cost SP, so I'm just gonna... Wait, I can I get to use um another bash attack because uh Chie's other special is another bash attack. And I can use it for free! Ooh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh I missed. I still don't understand like 100 percent of the mechanics of Persona because it's a bit confusing, but I kind of understand the uh the fundamentals. I believe in this RPG game, if you attack somebody who's sleeping, they immediately wake up. So yeah. Thank you, Reese. Reese Chan. Tongue piss. Hold on, Senpai. I sent something that's not a shadow. It looks like someone's here. Try searching around. Heck yeah, I'll switch around. Um, normally there's a map on a touchscreen, but um, they don't have it active for the time being. Wait, I think I heard something. <laughs> you hear what sounds like a cr person crying. Yikes! What is this? Where's it coming from? I think it's nearby. Don't be afraid, Chie. 
And yeah, the dungeons, these are first-person mode, so you can move around with the D-pad. You can look around with the analog, or with the circle pad by holding on the B. You can strafe with, like, L and R. But those will be useful as we go into this. You don't recognize those students. I think they're the ones I was picking up on earlier. Who are you? Actually, Persona 1 is kind of like this dungeon crawler in first person. Interesting. I actually did not know that. I'm asking who you are. Huh? Well, uh, uh I'm Chie Satanaka. You're students at Yasugami High, right? I mean, guessing by your uniforms. Students at Yasugami High. Yes. This cute girl goes here? Well, I want to go to school too. I'm going to start going to Yasugami High. <laughs> Teddy's only in there for the woman. Yeah, yeah, be quiet. Are you two okay? There should have been shadows here. Oh, <laughs> shadows are... Um... Do you mean those monsters? They did attack, but I drove them away. You did? But weren't you crying earlier? What's wrong? I, I was scared. I Teddy's probably scared. older than anybody here. <laughs> Zen kept saying that we need to go in. Oh. Yes, it must be scary being in a place like this. Were you about to go further inside? That was the intention. There's still a long, long way to go from here. My bear nose works a bit too, you know. So it's gonna take a while, huh? Then shouldn't we go back? I wanna check in with Yosuke and everyone. Go, go back? I want to go too. I wanna go back. Please, Sen? Can we go back? Very well. We will come with you. Huh? All right! Of course! I am Zen, and she is Rei. That's what we call each other. Zen-kun and Rei-chan, right? Don't worry, we won't leave you here. Ah, thank you. Alrighty, time to head back. I believe you got a manly walk back. Once you're familiar with moving around, try the advanced controls. You can hold me to run. Hopefully you do not get attacked. And that's what you get for saying it out loud! Three shadows! And I'm missing data! <laughs> fat lips are always so funny! <laughs> Yukiko. Uh... We will have Chie attack a guy in the back, and we will have everybody test out their uh, attacks on this guy in the front, the cowardly Maya. I believe that's a solid plan that we can do. Uh, Yukiko can only heal for the time being, so uh, I guess you can attack. Wait, Yukiko can reach the back? And Bane Slice, Light Cut Attack. Oh, wait. Range Stab Attack. We can test a Stab Attack. Ow! Should probably heal, um... You. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Doki Doji. What a unique name. That enemy is weak against bash Okay, uh Wanna heal? We could use a skill, but we're just gonna heal. It's quite safe. Oh. Oh, what attack have we not used? We have not used a range of attack. Oh, let's try that. Let's punch this guy in the face, and we'll just wail on the person on the left. I mean on the right. Yes, I'll use this. Here we go. Come on. Found it funny that Teddy has Bufu instead of Chie, because they're both sharing element. They they do? 
Well, I guess they do. I guess they're both of ice. Persona! What's up, Kippy? How's it going, dude? Critical hit! Well, yeah, if you get a critical hit, um... You can go into... Boost mode as well. It's pretty cool. We can just go for Bufu again. Actually, no. Uh... I'm gonna attack... You defend, Chie. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. Good now I have an actual working voice. You recovered from your illness, dude? Good to hear that. Yeah, but Teddy's more about supporting magic, meanwhile Chie was physical. Interesting. Yeah, like, um, for Persona 4, I know how the story goes, it's just I haven't played the game for myself, so... I don't know how everybody, um, operates. Your health isn't looking good, Chie Senpai. We're fine! We're fine, Rise! We can make it out. We're almost home free! Yes. Should you leave the labyrinth? Yes, we shall. In front of you in Wonderland. Yosuke and Naruto have returned from investigating other areas of the school. Welcome back. WB. Hello. Um, Ray Chan and Zenkun, right? Oh wait, or is it Ray San and Zensa? Uh, how old are you guys? I mean, like, what year are you in? What year are you in? Gonna be surprised if Yukiko doesn't die at least once. Is she frail this game? I'm a first year. A first year. Oh, then we're the same age. What were you two doing in there? I thought we needed to get out of here. We were looking for a place to leave from. Leave? If you want to leave, use the school gate. Do you, like, uh, have no sense of direction? There is no exit. Nani? Huh? There is no exit. Thought so. Interesting. Wait, what? She's always fragile. Spring Breeze could kill the poor girl. There's a school. We must protect her then. That way. The secret passage that Kanji Kun usually uses didn't exist at all. Interesting. Hey, how do you know about the hole in the fence? I mean, I used it just this morning. There's no way it ain't there. It's not there. We can't leave this school. Oh, do we have the tension? And then there's that clock tower. Clock tower. One in the seven horrors? It would be faster to show it to you. Please, follow me. The Yasugami High Schoolyard. There appears to be a clock tower standing in the center of the yard. It's for real! There actually is a clock tower here! It's the Big Ben! Hmm. What does this all mean? It was demolished before Yukiko Senpai and the others began elementary school, correct? Prince Ray Fix. Thanks for following, dude. Hopefully I said your name right. <laughs> I don't know exactly when, but I think it was around that time. But I thought it was more like a small monument than an actual full-size tower. At least, I don't think it was so big that a person could go inside. Size aside, looks like we can't go inside this one either. Even though it's this big? Yes, there's no door. Alas, if only we could enter. I thought we'd find some sort of clue. I see. Hmm, I'm trying to like pay attention, like in case of like foreshadowing. Because I know there's a lot of foreshadowing in this Zenkun, franchise. Ray-chan, do you know anything about this clock tower? Um, it's been here all this time. Is the clock stopped? It is moving. But it's extremely slow. Slow? Chaos control! Neither Ray nor I know anything about this building. But... That bell did ring. So the bell we heard must have been this clock tower's bell. The bell rang, and I entered that labyrinth with Ray. That's where we met you. You went in after hearing the bell? May I ask why? I felt that that's what needed to be done. <laughs> hmm. I see. I feel like uh, the spell of a time limit, and like if uh, we miss a time limit, like we just die. <laughs> it's 
seems that this isn't Yasugami High. This place is very similar to Yasugami High, but it's somewhere completely different. Hey, why don't we go see Margaret? Maybe she's figured something out about this place. That's a good idea. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. The Velvet Room. Margaret is standing here with a very serious expression. Ugh, what a mess you've dragged me into. Wait, we dragged you into this? Um, what is this place? It seems this is a haven in the rift. A place that exists between dream and reality. It connects to the world of the collective unconsciousness. It must be similar to the TV world you are all familiar with. So that's why there are shadows here, and we could summon our personas. But why are we in such a place? I don't know the reason. But do you remember what I said before? Nothing meaningless happens here. Reality and this haven in the rift connected via the Velvet Room. And it happened by necessity. Indeed, one could call it... Fate. Fate? There is something that you must do here. That is all I know. Oh, thanks! <laughs> what if we don't do it? Unless you accomplish what must be done, there will be no way back to reality. In other words, we won't be able to leave here? <gasps> For real? For real? Is that why the students are acting so weird? All they say is Yasugami High's culture festival is fun, and let's go to the carnival shooting gallery. It's like the answers they give me don't match my questions. We can buy what they're selling now. Also, I don't see anyone else I know here. I mean, not that I know every single student's face, but there's no way I wouldn't recognize even one person. Interesting. All they do is speak words. You cannot communicate with them. There's a surprising amount of voice acting here. Yeah, there is. Huh? The students here aren't human. There's something like phantoms. Shadows will not attack them. As far as I know, those monsters you call shadows have never come out from that labyrinth. I do not know why, but it's always been so. Always? How long have you two been here? Pretty long one? Wow! What about before coming here? We were here when we gained consciousness. We don't remember anything before that. Oh boy, boys. Amnesia. Our memories were taken. T taken? Wait, by who? I don't know. But you remember having them taken? But I remember having them taken. But how would someone take another person's memories? Could that someone be here? I don't know. Uh, could our memories get taken too? I don't know. This seems pretty serious. Yeah. Uh, wait, for real? Does this mean there's a bad guy here? Probably. The penny drops! In any case, let's look for a way to leave here. The clues must be in that labyrinth. It's obviously different from everywhere else here. Leave? Uh, I want to leave too. I want to go back with everyone. Ray? Zen, let's leave together, okay? I want to go back too. Alright, if that is what you wish. I have a favor to request. If you are going to enter this labyrinth, I ask that you take us with you. We won't be any trouble. I will protect Ray, and I can fight the monsters in this labyrinth. Let's look for a way out together. Yes. You know what they say, the more the I'm merrier. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, I'm feeling hungry. Oh yeah, this chick eats a lot. Takoyaki? Where'd you pull that out from? I know 
something. Happiness comes in the shape of takoyaki. Silly Chie. Do you not realize you're in an RPG? Oh, People can take out stuff right out of their inventory. No matter how small their bags are. Did you just insult Ray? <laughs> Yo, chill, man! I, I would never! I just meant that her distinctive looks and personality are amazing! No, 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 Zen! That's dangerous! That's crazy. You just put a uh, crossbone in his face. <laughs> you two get along well. I promise that we stay together. I promise to get all cozy together in my costume, too. With Miss Margaret, of course. Then I will fulfill my duty as well. As guests of the Velvet Room, I'll assist you as much as I am able. If you are to fight against shadows, you will need to make the necessary preparations. Hmm. Where to start? She totally ignored me. Rip. If we are to fight shadows, and I worry about our equipment. To proceed safely, we'll want armor to protect ourselves, and weapons to attack the shadows. Useful tools would be also helpful. And ideally, we'd have some place to replenish our stamina. Yeah. I don't like the idea of having to go without supplies. Would this be insufficient? It's a projectile device that uses nearby objects. Its effect changes depending on what it fires. Why don't you all use one too? Mm, I wouldn't feel confident using that. I'd probably shoot Yosuke before I got used to it. That's insane. <laughs> I can so see that happening. Seriously though, we all use completely different weapons. Never mind unfamiliar, it'd be dangerous. I see. Different weapons for each of you. So, it would help if you had weapons? They can allow me to protect you. That is my duty. Um, there's a place with all kinds of stuff flying around. I think they have some. Let's go look together. And we can swing by the donut shop on our way. The art room. There is supposed to be a hands-on class on making small toys here, but something doesn't feel right. Handcrafted workshop. Was it always like this? Zen! Zen! Strawberries! They're like berries full of straw! Full of straw? But she's eating a donut! I see. Hey! I bet this is your kind of place, huh, Kanji? Uh, well... Kinda... We can use the weapons here. They all seem pretty sturdy and... Huh? What the... These are all toys! Uh, you get a fight with Amiibo! No good? It may be possible to imbue them with enough power to fight shadows. What do you mean? You should find them from time to time upon defeating shadows in the labyrinth. When you find these... Please bring them to me. I will use those materials to make weapons, armor, and sundries. Materials? Allow me to give it a try. Please wait a moment. Margaret took Shadow Peace from you. Hey, that's my item. I would dare you take it from me. What do you think? I believe it came out quite well. You obtained the longsword. You obtained the go home. As you have seen, I will create your equipment and sundries. But I expect to be compensated for my efforts. That is how contracts work, after all. Nothing comes free. No, oh, well, we're trying to escape. Can you give me a discount? What? How stingy! That's crazy. Also, taking all your belongings into the labyrinth will surely be troublesome. If there are things you do not expect to need inside, you can leave them with me. Interesting. You're gonna charge us for that too, aren't you? For this lady's sake, I'll look after your belongings free of charge. You're now able to buy weapons, armor, and other items at the handcrafted workshop. You can also store items as well. You also desired some place to recover your stamina, yes? I happen to know a perfect facility for that nearby. Will you all follow me? The nurse's office! I'm relieved to see it's just a normal nurse's office. I never had a nurse's office in my high school. I don't think so. 
out of the both high schools I went to. <laughs> Hello. Don't be sad, Yosuke. I didn't say anything. I will make arrangements for you to replenish your stamina here. Remember to come here whenever you return from the labyrinth. Thanks. As with your equipment, I will obviously require compensation for use. No! <laughs> Though my prices will be reasonable, my intent is not to make you suffer. However, what might constitute a fair price is beyond my ken. That's insane. You'll be fine as long as it doesn't exceed one million yen. No? I wish you had even the sense of your average housewife. Anyway, you can now make all the preparations you should need. If you have trouble, try adjusting your equipment and healing. That may give you the advantage you need. Deciding who will take part in the battles is also key. Don't neglect your formation. Well then, I bid you good luck. Thank you. Hey Senpai, maybe you should look over the <clears throat> formation like Margaret suggested. Now that the whole gang's together, you need to decide on who's actually gonna help out in fights. All right. Let me tell you what you need to watch out for when setting up your formation. There's a front row and a back row. People in back will be hurt less by enemy attacks. But if you put someone who uses a close range weapon back there, they won't be as effective. Got it. Oh, good point. It'll be hard to kick stuff from back there. The Satanaka style works best from the front. Naruto and Zenkun and I will have no problems attacking from the back with our weapons, though. Okay, that makes sense. That's why um, Yukiko's weapon can attack the back members while she's in the back. He appears to be setting up a formation that works with each of our weapons. Should we have an offensive mix? Lean on defense? Or feel the balanced team? Well, we can adjust as needed. Yeah, that's a lot to digest all at once. <laughs> I'm fine leaving it all up to him. You can change who's in the front and back rows during battle, too. During battle? I Try did not know. It up, depending on the situation. Interesting. Hmm. You are now able to change party members. Try changing the party right now. Okay. Uh. Everybody's level one, so here's how I'm going to uh, handle party members. Um, until we reach the last dungeon, this is a very long game, so I don't know when we'll reach that, but, um, I'm gonna make sure everybody's balanced, so I'll always have you, Nawakami, in my party, because he's the main character, but I'll always take, like, um, the lowest leveled members of my team and keep them in my party, and I'll keep sitting around like that, and if everybody's the same level, I'll just decide who I want, um, bash, cut, bash, Stab. Cut. Stab. Alright, um... Wind skills, physical, fire and healing, electric and support. Uh... Multiple elemental attacks. Ice and healing. And... Light and dark skills. Okay, we're gonna bring Naoto. We can only carry... We can only have five people in our party at one time. No, let's... Let's bring... Let's bring Yosuke. Why not? Uh... What skills do you guys all have? Serene Journey. Let's bring in Zen and Ray. And... Let's bring in Chie. Alright, that'll be our party for now. So every time we leave the Labyrinth, I'll just change up our squad. That's what we're gonna be for now. Do we need healing? I don't think so. Welcome. Yeah, well, actually, we do need healing. Rip. Oh, let us heal. Will that be acceptable? How dare you! Why can't you just heal me for free? We're on the same side. I will see you again. Well, yeah, what the lad told me was that um, 
they will take your level and they will times it by 10. And that's how much healing will cost. So if I'm level 2, it'll cost 200 yen, and so on. So if I'm like level 27, it'll be like 2700 yen. Oh, uh, let us go to the workshop. Can we do anything there? Welcome. When you sell materials in the handcrafted workshop, new items will become available for sale. Try selling your materials here. Oh, uh, we'll sell all of them. Yasugami desk and combat dress. Okay, I don't know what that is, but sure. Um, every time we leave a labyrinth, I'll change my party first. Actually, I'll heal, then change my party. Actually, no, I'll change my party, then I'll heal. And then I will equip weapons based on the party that I currently have. Because there's way too many characters to afford to equip everybody. I'm gonna get some medicine. Let's get three. Wait, 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 wait. This is really important. It helps you leave the labyrinth whenever you want. Otherwise, you'll have to backtrack, and that's no good. I'll just have five on me. What can you get? You can't get anything. I don't think we were able to get many. Oh, Kanji gets something new, but um, we're not using Kanji right now, so... Oh well, let's check armor. Oh, Chie can get something. 450? No, we're not gonna buy anything. We're not gonna buy anything, we're too poor. Poverty boys! Alrighty. Let us save and we will head into the labyrinth. Get cracking on our very first dungeon. Well, I've been waiting for this. Senpai, do you have any go-homes with you? If you use a go-home in the labyrinth, you should be able to come back here. Don't push yourself too hard. If your health ever in danger, make sure to use it. You can heal up and change your equipment back here, so let's stay calm while you go about this. <laughs> Extreme poverty? That's like five dollars. <laughs> Actually, what's the currency between, um... I don't know, I don't, I don't know the exchange rate between, uh, Japan and North America, or US, or Canada, or whatever. <laughs> Poverty boys, poverty chat from Twitch, when they turn on sub mode only. You, in Wonderland. There might be a clue on how to escape this world inside here. Hmm, this place is pretty huge. The paths are like a maze. There's no fog here like in the TV world, but it's different enough to make it hard to see what's here. Sorry, I'm not gonna be much help navigating you through here. I see. What should we do? Should we mark our path as we go? Not a bad idea, but we don't know what awaits us. I think a more cautious approach is called for. Senpai, why don't we draw a map? I believe it will be worth our while to note down doors and other features to help us reach our destination. Let's do that. Would this be useful? Our handy dandy leather notebook. I made it by putting the students' day planners together. I made it to write down where Ray's favorite shops were, but I don't need it now that I've memorized them. Since you're our leader, we should handle marking our path from now on. A hundred yen is worth 89 cents in US dollars. Oh, jeez, we are poor! Great idea! Man, we need to get some part-time jobs, man. Senpai, make sure you draw a map of places we've seen for ourselves, okay? An accurate map will be just the thing to get us out of here. The labyrinth appears to have a very complicated layout. You should remember to draw maps also, you go. Also, be careful. Some of the shadows here look really strong. Yikes! Really? I don't think even you guys could beat them. So, what should we do? Avoid them. What? Are you speaking of the FOEs? F... what? what? Not if. Fusis Oikane Idolan. Yeah, that was too long, so we're using a nickname. Just call them FOEs. We encountered one before meeting you. They are different from other enemies. That's why we gave them a name. FOEs. Okay. I'm sure you'll know them when you see them, so just remember to steer clear. Well, good luck, everyone. I'll be backing you up from here. 
All right, everyone, follow me. So basically, FOEs are just um optional bosses that will destroy you. <laughs> Duh, you're right. Sorry. So, Ray-chan, let's hold hands. I'll protect you. Cancel what I said about being sorry. <laughs> I'd rather hold hands. Ah, shut down on the first turn. Rip. Meanwhile... Aha! I knew it. Yosuke said spider earlier. believe he's a bit big bad Time boss. Resumes. Time resumes. The map is now available on the bottom screen. In order to escape from this world, you must keep a careful map. Press the Y button to toggle between zoomed in and zoomed out views. Touch the compass at the top left. The map rotates to match the direction you face. Touch the pen tool to select it in order to draw lines for walls. I believe I turned on auto wall fin or whatever. So hopefully he just draws it for me. <laughs> Use the brush tool in order to paint in the floors. The paint color can be changed within the color palette. The eraser tool removes lines and the dust cloth removes floors. Floors are painted as you walk on them as well. When you open a door, try drawing in the walls you can see around you on your map before venturing inside. Alrighty. So yeah, basically we use our touch screen to navigate these dungeons. If we see something that interests us, um, I can just write it down or something. But I don't see any reason to write anything down for now. Oh dang it, I have to draw our walls. Yeah, it looks like I have to draw the walls. Uh, yeah, that'll be kind of annoying, but it'll help us once we backtrack through here. So yeah, like that. So it's a maze, so we must navigate our way and make sure we don't get lost. So I'm gonna be going pretty slowly. And we are being attacked by shadows, hurrah! Be careful! The enemies get the first hit in, and there's three of them! No, oh, seriously? Yeah, here's what I don't understand 100%. Um... <laughs> Whether we get an advantage in battle, if the enemy gets an advantage, it's really weird. That enemy in the middle looks like it's planted something. Be careful, senpai! A character who exploits an enemy's weakness will be boosted, but you must remain cautious. A character who is attacked while in boost condition will be unboosted. Alrighty, these guys are weak to electricity. That guy we do not know. So, we will wail on that guy with our... with whatever. Okay, so I'll have you... Attack. Veo. Wind attack. We're just gonna go for uh, melee attacks and hopefully they're weak to regular melee attacks. Unboosted. <laughs> and you can shoot him with your crossbow. Alright, neutral. Aha! You are weak. You were weak to that too, which is good. And you got hit, Rip. Okay, so he's weak to, uh... What's it called? I forget what it's called. Senpai, are you okay? I can help out too. So just say the word and I'll do what I can. Select leader skill from the menu to have the supporting character use one of her skills to help you. The support gauge can use skills when the party gauge reaches a certain level. The party gauge fills when you attack the enemy, so don't hold back! Okay, I need to figure out what that's called. Um, we're just gonna attack this guy right here. We're just gonna go for a regular attack against you. Uh, we're just gonna go for a regular attack on you. Slight chance of insta-kill. Okay, what's it called? A stab attack. Okay, so Naoto's gun is a stab attack. I need to remember that. Oh, uh, let's try it on you. A light cut attack. 
We have not used a cut attack on you. Let's try it on this cowardly Maya. No! Here I go. Better land this hit, man. Nice. Neutral damage. Seriously? Yosuke, come on, man. Must land these attacks. Pierce attacks. Good. Let's keep wearing them down. Then listen to our leader, okay? What's leader skill? Allow someone to act first. Allow somebody to act first for the for the turn. What? Okay. Uh. In that case, let's give it a Naoto. We're just all gonna attack. But light! Oh yeah. <laughs> Call me if you want a rematch. Victory pose time! Revel up? Do we do get any new skills? No, we do not. Correct. There are two cards on the ground near your feet. There's no knowing what they're used for, so you should probably hold on to them. Nice. Keep her on the walls. Just gonna look around. So on the bottom screen, like if uh, a wall shows blue, that means you can just draw on it. And also, it's pretty important to walk everywhere so you can 100% a um, labyrinth because you apparently can get something really good if you do that. And that's a door. So I'm just gonna put a door right there. We're going to continue to draw our pathway. Another door. I believe um, the circle on the top screen on the bottom right. If it gets closer to red, that means we're going to get jump soon, or whatever. Come on over here. Let's put a door there. Do that. Uh -huh. This wall seems suspicious. It feels a bit different from the others. Huh? There's a clock hanging on it. Could that be a landmark or some kind of mechanism built into it? Ain't it just for decoration? There's that possibility too, but I can't see anything for certain yet. Let's go. In any case, let's keep going. We may find out more about it later. Uh, yeah, we will find out about this later. But for now, I'll put an event right here. For the time being. No, undo. I drew too far. Go this way. The good thing though is, like, once we come back here, because usually for labyrinths we have to leave and come back a lot, I won't have to redraw, and I'll be a lot faster. Treasure! Put you right here. Let's open it! Obtain the life belt. Can we give that to anybody? Who has uh, the weakest... Who has the least amount of HP? On our team right now. 61, 52. Let's give it to Naoto. If we can, that is. Sweet. We're getting good, guys. Put you there, put you there. What's this? Oh, please, wait a moment. There's a clock on the wall. That must wall as well. It's the same as the one we saw earlier. Hmm, there's something connected to this one. Hmm, hmm, hmm. let's see here. Er, Teddy, don't touch that without... Hmm? What? <laughs> What's wrong? Teddy disappeared. Huh? 
Huh? Everyone disappeared! I'm all alone! Wait, what the? There's a clock here too! Actually, didn't we pass this one earlier? Impossible! Is he on the other side of the wall? Let's follow him. Booyah! Oh, Sensei! You gather back! I see. So this clock was meant to mark a secret passage through the wall. Does it only work from, from the other side? Not quite. No, it seems they have changed to allow us entry from this side as well. This mechanism must grant passage from both sides once it's activated. Oh, oh that's useful. Hey. What are you all impressed for? We're still in the dark about still in the dark about this world. If things go south and we get separated, it'll be a disaster. But try and be more careful careful from now on, okay, Teddy? Yeah, you better be sorry, Bear. That aside, though, this secret passage thing might be useful. Well, why don't we mark it on our map? It'll be easier to remember that way. Yeah, so we are going to mark it on our map. Shortcut icon. If you place an icon by accident, drag it to the trash can to remove it from the map. If you make a mistake when drawing the map, you can touch the undo button to undo your actions. There are other map functions as well. You can learn about them with the help icon at the bottom right of the screen. Draw what you see onto your map and make good use of it as you explore. Got it. Uh, so let us remove that. We'll use... Shortcut icon. Now we can teleportation, yeah! Shibida boo yeah. Now let us keep going. There's another clock up ahead. We can't pass through it, so we'll put just a shortcut right there for the time being. Now, we'll put a door, an open one, because we're going to go through this one. I believe we're going to get attacked by shadows. Nope, guess not. Whoa, what's with that giant one? I know what that is. That must be one of those SOBs. <laughs> Kanji, don't provoke them. We're in enough trouble already here. That is an FOE. We're gonna fight something that big? It looks really strong. Oh, hold on. Isn't that enemy acting a little strange? It's showing no sign of attacking us. It appears to be completely uninterested in us. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to wait and see for now. <laughs> SOBs, Atlas, you sly dogs. I don't know what that means. That's a reference, and I do not know about it. Hey, look, everyone. Isn't that FOE thing just going in circles? Now that you mention it, all it's doing is walking around that pond. Perhaps these FOEs have a set territory that they keep to. It doesn't seem to care about you guys, so maybe you can slip past it without fighting. Hmm. Uh, that I know it's not interested in us. The bear side of me wants to chase after it. No, you fool. What are you, a girl? Look, if we fought that thing, we'd get crushed into paste. Mm hmm We need to avoid those FOEs as we go through here. Seems that it would be best to avoid FOEs until you're confident in your strength. You decide to carefully examine the FOE movement before you proceed. FOEs are visible on the map as well. Try and proceed caution so that you don't run into purple icons. The proximity gauge shows the likelihood of a battle occurring. Blue is safe, it goes to green, yellow, then red when you're in danger. Stranger danger. Alright, so... What I usually do for these FOEs is, um... I will draw their uh, movements in red, because red equals bad, right? So I will usually get the paintbrush, red, basically do that. Let's see where he goes. Let me get this clock real quick. No battle. There are two enemies. Here I go. Okay. Oh, uh, we have not tried. We okay. They're weak to lightning, so uh, I guess we can do lightning. 
What have we not tried yet? We've not tried wind. We can try wind. We're gonna do a regular bash attack. We'll just shoot you in the face, because why not? And booyah! Dang it, you're not weak! Yeah, as long as we don't attack you, we should be good. Nobody told you to get up. Yes. Let's try to keep it going. Well done, Yeah, buddy. Senpai, you're the best. I am the best. Tongue piece and tongue skin. Lovely. You're picking up tongues from random enemies on the ground. Seems you can't pass through from the side. All right then, game. All right. Whatever you say. wall here. I'm gonna walk on every tile so that way we can 100% it. Hopefully he does not, like, decide to, like, walk backwards. For some reason. We're just gonna stay behind him. Let's paint this part red. Paint you red. Hey, sweet. Just goes in, like, that circle. Or that square. We're gonna do that. Is there a wall there? Should be a wall. And we're gonna put a door. No! You stay there. Alright, sweet. Let's go already! I'm going, man, jeez. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, what should we do? We've not tried a bash attack on you yet. Or wind. We'll try those. I'm just gonna attack this guy. I wanna save my SP just in case we really need it. We're gonna have Chie kick this guy in the balls, because he's literally a ball. I guess we shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh sweet, he is weak to win, that's nice. And he's dead! There are two enemies left. Enemies making their own plan. And we'll do that. Use Kanji. <laughs> I don't have Kanji with me today. I'll use him in the, the next dungeon. Or the next time I, I leave and come back. If only all opponents were this easy. Alright, you are a clock, which we will put an event on. Can't pass through it, go figure. We'll go down here. Oh, sweet, wait, we should go through here. Huh. This wall seems. No! We got attacked by another enemy. Nice. Chie, please. <laughs> um, let's just shoot this guy in the face. Weak 
Have you played other Personas? No, I have not. This is my first one. But I'm familiar with, like, um, the plots for, like, Persona 3, 4, and 5. But gameplay, nope. It's my first time. Alright, let's go back into the clock. Let's drag some walls right here. Huh? Hey, take a look at that. Staircase. Aren't those stairs on the opposite bank? I switched around a bit, and it seems like the labyrinth goes down on multiple goes down on downwards. It looks like there's multiple floors. Can you try going down at those stairs over there? Over there! Well, we'd have to find a way across the water here. Maybe we should try this door. It might lead to the other side. <laughs> okay, lead the way, senpai. Oh, and one more thing. I sent shadows on the other side of that door. They might be waiting to ambush you. Yep. Got it. Leave it to us. Play Persona 4 Golden and stream it, please. Yeah, I want to stream that game someday. It's just I don't have a Vita. So, hmm. I'll need to get that eventually. Ray, stay behind me. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna get jump, boys. He sends a shadow beyond the door. Terria! Let me just draw these walls real quick. There are three enemies. No! Okay, I'm here. Here I go. Okay. Oh, you are weak to lightning and wind. Or we to pierce and light. Oh. Alright. You are going to run out of FP though. No, I'll just attack. And. The Rep Yosuke have no SP. I guess we'll use uh, Narukami then. Oh. And. Naoto, you got this guy. And Ray, you got. Or Zen, you got that guy. Laughing table smirks. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Gone. Oh, was close. That enemy is weak against Pierce. Good. Let's keep wearing them down. Then listen to our leader, okay? Let's do that. Oh yeah, you're dead. That's my partner. you're the best. I am the best. All right, alternate pathway. Um, there are three of the same blank cards as before on the ground near your feet. We got three blank cards. I am more than okay. Now let's go right. We'll check the left side afterwards. Dead end. Well, let's go through here. If we have a way, secret passage. Let's check it out. <laughs> Not sexual. <laughs> oh, yeah, but by the way, I'm probably gonna end up the stream in like ten-ish minutes. Just as an FYI. So let's see how much farther we can go. We're gonna get jumped. Figures. There are three enemies. Good luck. Ugh, those oh. lips again. Those lips again. <laughs> we have not used a bash attack on these guys yet, so actually because Chie is uh I want to just wail on them. Wait, no, no, no! Oh, I don't want to escape. Let's attack you. Let's attack you. We'll kick you in the nuts. We'll shoot you. We'll shoot you. And you're dead! Ow! Oh, you miss. Yes. Let's try to keep it going. I'm gonna let Chie attack this guy right here. 
just to see if, he, uh, if it's weak against Bash. Can a ball have balls? Uh, yes. <laughs> I thought I'd ask. Critical hit! Booyah! <laughs> now that it's over, I'm hungry! You're the same as always, Ray. We're doing pretty good so far. Should we heal anybody? I think we're fine. Your energy is getting low. Be careful. Okay, maybe we're not fun. Oh, uh, let's give it to you. Why not? We have medicine. We bought it for a reason. No need to hoard. It's a door here. Okay, let's go through the door. I know we haven't checked that other way yet. Actually, let's go here first. Before we go through the door. I want to make sure we don't miss anything. And that was terrible drawn. We found a treasure box! <gasps> Is it filet mignon? No! Chain mail! That's cool. I have no idea what that does, but... Hey, it's free stuff! Shall we get going? I see something glowing. Huh? Dude, what is that thing? <laughs> it's a power spot, you can tell by how sh how it's all shiny. Wait, a power spot? You mean like those things are you mean those things at shrines? No. Man. Those don't glow as obviously as this thing does. <laughs> I bet this pea spot is really powerful. What? You're breathing it already? Hey, Senpai, I think there's something on the ground in the middle of this power spot. <sighs> Alright, partner, let's check this power spot. Perhaps you, you should inspect this power spot. We shall. I believe there's a... Yeah, there is. Check the power spot. Obtain cake page! Oh, that thing you just picked up seems similar to the shards of the shadow drop. If you give them to Margaret, Margaret, she might make them into equipment. No, so we definitely want to pick these up. Mm. But I'm sensing, sensing shadows from the spots too. Be real careful when you check them, Senpai. It seems you can gather materials at power spots. It may be wise to note this down on the map. Yay! There's still more here. It'd be a waste to let it to leave it here. So let's take it all with us. You have limited chances to gather useful materials here, but this is. But this is reset when you leave the labyrinth. Make make good use of these spots. Wow, I cannot read today. Jeez. Jeez, man. More! Give me more! Oh, we used it all up. Cry. There's another door. Let's hop in. I feel like it went the right way. In RPG dungeons, you should go the wrong way first. That way you can get all the stuff. Oh no, not another FOE! Okay, let me... Color. Nani. It's a single shadow. Don't let your guard down. Give You're weak to shot attack. And I'll attack. And I'll do the healing! Oh, let's use a leader skill, we have a bunch of them. Gone! <laughs> How's the one wear a cake? Uh, ask the Koopalins in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, cause they wore a cake somehow. Kaplan. Use <laughs> a skill, and let's we'll use another skill, because it's free! If only all opponents were this easy. Too easy! Senpai, aren't you almost out of energy? You've got to be careful! I'm fine. 
I'm just gonna follow this FOE. Well, draw on the wolf. So much painting and stuff. I'm guessing you do that pattern. Most likely. Yep, figures. I'm just gonna fall behind him just to like 100% failure. I'm gonna catch you! Bodied. And let's put a door here. Jeez, so much more of this map. I feel like we're getting close to a good stopping point, which is why I'm still going. Power spots back. No! Okay, I guess we'll do this fight and then we'll just call it a day. Good luck! Look at me as just a girl, and you won't live to regret it. Huh? See, it can't be saying stuff to these shadows. It's crazy. I'm just gonna kick the shadow in the balls. Like usual. Yeah, really, in early game, you just need to rely on just regular attacks. There are two enemies left! Only two? Go for you. Go for you. Skill. For you. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Should probably attack the guy in the back. There we go. Oh yeah. Well that. Oh shoot, is he right behind me? There's something funny about that wall. No, he's not right behind me. I'm getting paranoid for nothing. Uh anywho, um I'm just gonna mark where I was on the map. Let me trace and hmm. I'm just gonna put an arrow to where I was last time, so when we start up the stream next time, I'll remember where I was. Cause I'm gonna leave the labyrinth. Like, whenever I finish stream, so that way I can change my party for next time. So let me trace this wall first. Now let's fail! Anywho, we're gonna end it off here, so uh, thank you all for watching uh, part one of Persona Q, Shadow of Labyrinth, the Persona 4 side. And next time, we're going to continue our way through the labyrinth, and we're probably going to have a different party, too. That way we can give everybody the spotlight. Anyway, thanks for watching, and sayonara.